5 and Hot 97 present Street Soldiers with Lisa Evers. I'm so glad you're joining us for this episode of Street Soldiers on the Latin music explosion. I'm your host, Lisa Evers. Latino artists are making huge strides in their careers, individually and for the entire culture, proudly displaying their Hispanic heritage as they blaze new trails and earn millions of fans around the world. Oh, he's so handsome, what's his name? Cardi B has always been proud of her Hispanic heritage and of the hip-hop culture. She became the first female solo artist to win a Grammy for Best Rap Album and the first female to have three Diamond Certified singles. With the hit I Like It Like That, she helped her Latino collaborators, J Balvin and Bad Bunny, earn English-speaking fans. Both were already huge international stars in their own right with Spanish-speaking audiences. At the 2022 MTV Music Awards, Bad Bunny broke into the pop culture stratosphere when he was named Artist of the Year. Multi-award-winning Latin music executive Johnny Marines says it was a turning point. That recognition for us is huge. It's huge because it's, number one, it being the top honor of the night and it being given it to a Latino artist for the first time in history, it speaks volumes of how far we've come and, and, and how much power we have. So to me, it's a big deal. Up and coming New Jersey rapper Nunu Pistol Hearted, seen in this video in the black t-shirt with the red letters, is newly signed to AMG Music. He says his Latino heritage is hardwired into his style, his slang, and his swag. He's on the cutting edge of new artists trying to diversify the drill music genre. As a Latino, we have that like, that like, uh, that like, that energy to where though like we like to dance. We like to, we, we have our, you know, we have a Spanish dance. We have our own energy. So it's like we bring in that, we're mixing that with all types of music. Heavy hitter founder and Hot 97 radio personality DJ Enough says the Latin music culture has never been in a better place. And this is just the beginning. He began his career as a tour DJ for the Notorious B.I.G. and is in his 25th year at Hot 97, where he's played all types of hip-hop and Latin music on air and in the clubs. We've still got a little bit more growing to, go, to do, but we're on our way and we're unstoppable and no one's going to stop us. So we're going to continue to grow. We're going we're gonna to continue to be who we need to be and we're going to serve our Latino community very proud and very loud. All this success didn't happen overnight. Let's find out what our panel has to say. Joining me for this conversation is DJ Enough. He is the founder of the world famous Heavy Hitters. He, you hear him on Hot 97 on the new at two, Monday through Friday. And he started his 25th year at Hot 97. Enough, congratulations. Congratulations, brother. That's Thanks for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. No, great, great to have you with us. Also, this is Johnny Marines. He's a Latin music executive. He was a former president of the Latin division at Rock Nation. He has worked with some of the biggest names in the business from the ground and helped them build their careers and then take their careers to all sorts of new levels. He has been on this scene from day one and he's seen a lot of progress. So we're excited to be talking with him. Johnny, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me on the show, Lisa. We appreciate it. Also with us is Nunu. That's what I'm calling him, but he raps under the name Pistol Hearted, he is an up and coming rap artist signed to AMG Music, that's Danny Sue's label. His latest single is called No Safety. Nunu, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, I appreciate you. Thank you. Enough, I wanna start with you. Okay. First of all, this is such an, a tremendous milestone for you to be starting your 25th year at Hot 97, on uh -huh. the air, on the mic, with the and music. doing it with you. I love it. That, that's amazing. <laughs> Yes, queen. that is that is so amazing enough in terms of the the growth of what you've seen, because one of the first times I ever interviewed you for Street Soldiers, you said to me, you didn't want to be known as a Latin DJ. You wanted to be known as a DJ who happened to be Latino, happened to be 100 percent. I want to be considered a great DJ and then not just a Latin DJ. But now that everything's turned 360. And it's and I'm I'm proud to be a Latin DJ. I have no problem, no issues with it. Back in those days, it was I was trying to be uh, looked at and co-signed by the hip hop pioneers of this age, the guys who come from the Bronx, the guys that came from the city. And I wanted I wanted to be honest, I wanted their sanctioning and their co-sign. And I if I, if I didn't have that, 
then I wouldn't be where I'm at that where I'm at today. So I just want to say thank you to them. So that was that was a very important thing, Johnny. In terms of where we're at today, we're ce we're celebrating the achievement. So many so many Latino trailblazers in front of the cameras, in front of the mics, on the mics, on the stage, but also like yourself behind the scenes, really making those connections and having to explain to people there's an audience here. There's money to be made. There's fans waiting for this. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I, as for me, I, I've been in in the music industry now, going on 20 years. Um, there's definitely been uh, like enough set, you know, it's been a, a complete turnaround where the Latin artists are today versus 20 years ago. <clears throat> it's been a lot of progress done. I mean, when you look back at Mark Anthony, Ricky Martin, the J-Lo's who, you know, Shakira's, they were one of the, the first ones that were crossing over and getting the attention from the American side of everything that was going on from radio to the record labels. But now you have artists like Romeo Santos and Bad Bunny, uh, amongst others, that have been able to stay in their lane and still stay doing Latin music, mm -hmm. but collaborating with American artists and still getting played on American radio, still getting videos played on American TV. And, and it has just transcended into something where now when you go to a concert, for a guy like a Bad Bunny, even a Romeo Santos, it's not just Latin people who are buying tickets. It's, a, you know, it's people who only speak English, don't ne even necessarily know what the artist is saying, but they're so in love with the melodies and everything that's going on, all the energy that's going on around Latin music right now that it just it just makes it a, the place to be. You need to be there. Yeah, no, definitely. Nunu, tell us a little bit about your your musical influences, because you you told me you're half Puerto Rican, half African American. What about did you grow up with any kind of Latin music around you or hearing it in Jersey City there? So yeah, uh, growing up, so I'm I'm twenty I'm twenty seven years old. So uh, growing up, I was more I was more introduced to like Daddy Yankee and you know like that go and them type of Latin artists, you know, like before, before uh, the type of trap music came out with Latin, it was more so club Latin music. So I was, I was introduced to that, like growing up in that home. Yeah. So I was introduced to a lot, a lot, a lot of old Latin music, like right now, but I feel like, you know what I mean? Like as a Latin, we have our own, own look, own accent. So, you no. Know, I'm like I'm more, I'd be more focused on the drill music. Like I like to do drill music, and you have other Latin artists that does drill, such as like K. Flock, D. Thing, and they're drill artists. They're Spanish, but they have their own look, and they have their own accent, and that's why you know, like I feel like they're like a big, a big, uh, a big um thing in the drill music, and them being Hispanic. Stay with us. There's much more to come. Johnny, when you saw Bad Bunny get that MTV VMA Artist of the Year, what did you think when you saw that? I think it just defined everything that's going on and it speaks what's going on today with Latin music. It's the first time that a Latin artist won the overall, just the, uh, the, the Anglo market regular Latin Artist of the Year because they do have a Latin category where Romeo has won the Latin Artist of the Year, Aventura has won, but it was always kind of like a separate category that wouldn't even get televised. Here, this is the main award of the night. Like this is the one everyone is waiting for. And it's being given, it was given to a Latin artist for the first time in the history of these awards. So it just speaks volumes on the progress that has been made with Latin music, how far we've gotten. And I think it's just the beginning because I think you're gonna see a lot more happening, a lot more artists coming in and that are gonna get the look. Before it was so hard to fight 
for these looks. Like, you know, even representing Romeo Santos and we're doing songs with guys like Drake and Usher and, and Lil Wayne and, and, and Nicki Minaj, you know, back in the days. Yeah, I see he got the Bad, the bad Bunny. Yeah. yeah. And, and Romeo Romeo did a song with Drake in 2014, but look. For anybody, yeah. Yeah, and, and the thing was this, right? What's different today is that when Bad Bunny made the song with Drake, it was getting the look on Anglo radio. It was getting that look. See, we wasn't getting that look. We we were the ones that were trying to like push the envelope. We were the ones trying to hit the you know little why, elbows. Johnny, because calling you're the, you're DJ the enough. You're the pioneer calling of it. DJ That's enough why. for a favor to get a spin on Anglo radio. Like I had to be pulling favors. It wasn't it wasn't a given like it is now because right now the world is ready. Right. Radio is ready. Music industry is ready. The fans across the boards have embraced the Latino artists. Mm -hmm. So it, I think it's just the beginning. It's gonna, it's gonna, it, this is, these are exciting times. These waves of explosion, explosions in the Latin scene, they've, they've, they've came before and they keep coming. It's just in different stages and different styles and different genres of music. They've been here way before us. When you think about the 50s and how the Cuban, you know, music and the, the early days of salsa and mambo and, and all that used to kind of like take over the world. All the, all the Anglo boys was rocking with Latinos since back in the 40s and the 50s, right? And then again in the 60s and again in the 70s. And then in the early 80s, it started, you know, we, we had hip hop kind of like come in. And the melting pot is what made everything so incredibly incredible because now you got not just Jamaicans and Haitians and um, Blacks from America loving hip hop. You got Dominicans and Puerto Ricans and Mexicans and all different kinds of Latinos kind of like spreading their love and showing their love. And, and, and showing that about that. Nunu, what about, what about that? Because you have like, you know, and also, and also too, from where you, from where you came up in Jersey city too, you have many different, you have different Latino cultures as well. And, and that whole sound, what, what do you see in, what do you see, happening right now in terms of where the sound is going and where the influences are coming from? I feel like they broke, like people like Bad Bunny broke the ice, like people like they've like broke, like they opened doors for other Latin people to be them and, you know, like, like rap because, you know, it was, it, it probably was harder for people like in, in, in the Latin industry to, to, to be as big as uh, an English artist. You know what I mean? So I feel like they open doors and it's like we have our own sound, our own our own accent. So it's like we can, I, I can rap I can rap English, but me being Hispanic and me being Latin, it has it it is it, just a different sound than a regular person speaking English on a regular song. Because I sound I still sound like you can like it's like you can look at me and you can tell I'm Spanish by how I sound and how I look. And then Johnny, you, you look at, we're, we're talking about big success stories. I mean, look at Cardi B, for example. I mean, she, groundbreaking on, you know, so many records she's broken. I mean, and so yeah. many, like the, 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 no, record, it, it, the, the sales, the coll collaborations, like all of that. Yes, yeah, she's been able to take, I mean, it's phenomenal what she's been able to do with her career. When you look at that, she started as an influencer on Instagram and then ended up on Love and Hip Hop. And, and from there, you know, decided to take her craft serious and like just ignored the people that didn't believe in her and look at her today. And I think she's a perfect example that a lot of these new artists, whether they're Latin or not, they should look at her and, and, and kind of do a case study on how she ended up being one of the most influential and successful forget about female rappers, just rappers, period, of this generation. And, you know, her being Latin, she always makes sure that she represents her culture. Anybody that still, you know, follows her and goes on her, her social media, 
will always see that she always takes the time to make sure that she connects with Latin, with Latins one way or another, whether she'll take a unknown artist who has a song that maybe nobody's listening to, right? And it's a Latin song. And she'll make sure that she'll put it on her, her live and, and big it up. And that's kind of her way of giving back to right. those people that nobody believes in or even knows that they exist right now. Right. But she's doing it and she's doing it on a major platform. And it's like a super plug. So, you know, just looking at what she's been able to do and being a Latin artist and the way that she's been embraced by everyone, um, it just speaks a lot of how far we've come as Latinos. And, and, and even though I feel like we still got ways to go, because we do, mm -hmm. but the fact that we have people like Cardi B that are able to get this far, it gives us as Latinos a lot of hope for this next generation. No, absolutely. And we, we had her on Street Soldiers in 2016 when we first started the TV version of the show. She came on. It was her last season. She was ending up with love and hip hop and, and had already started recording and, and working on her music. And I, I think people have forgotten how much skepticism there was about her. People were like, well, she's a reality TV star. We've seen so many of them try to have a music career and they haven't. But she was determined, focused, super hardworking and just really had that that vision like, nothing is gonna nothing is gonna shake me i mean it's very inspirational in that way but enough when when music comes to you now do you do you listen to it and then is it like okay this is a latin artist or this is i can feel i can hear a latino influence or is it like this is this is a dope song and the guy happens to be half dominican and half whatever i think it has a little bit of both you know like politically i'm determining where is this going to fit on my show right and then from the programming department, I got to make sure they're cool with it, okay? And and we get a little bit of sprinkling, like, okay, it's cool to go for it because look, at the end of the day, if we're a hip-hop station, we're selling hip-hop, right? right? And for the most part, we're not selling Latin music. We will get it on here and there because we know we have to because, look, the records are exploding. They're big. It's our job to play what the people want to hear. So we get it on when we can. And that's it. It's that simple, you know, but I feel like, you know, I feel like yeah. us just being Latin, us just being Latin itself is like a plus, like, because I feel like you don't even necessarily, like, you can, like, you can, like, you like you don't necessarily have to, like, speak Latin on a, on a song. Like, you just being Latin, it comes with a lot. It comes with, it, like, it comes with your accent. It comes with your look. It comes with, like, you have, you have that own look that other people don't have. So you just being that is, like, a lot like, swag. like people cut swag. Yeah. Is the, baby. <laughs> I agree, man. It's the culture, the culture. And if you know, for a long time, I, I just feel like I don't know if it was this country or it was just even just the music industry, but nobody really understood the demographic and how powerful the culture of the Latinos could be. When you look to the when you look to the future, because everything is is very very new for you right now, are there certain certain goals that you have as an artist? Well, I like to shine light on the business side, like Johnny said. Like I feel like people doesn't know the business side, and I don't know a lot of it either. I only been rapping a year, so there's a lot that I need to know because I feel like the game is like everybody is trying to get over on people to get what they want, and I know. I only, me only been rapping a year, so I know people that have been in the game a long time will have a field day with me, you know what I mean? Like, they would, like, love to get over on me. So I would like to be that person to shine light on the business side so everybody can know what they're getting into before they actually get into it. And we know we know your manager very well, Speed Soldiers. He's been on the show, Danny Sue Griffin. He's very big on building the, the artist career, you know, with the financial stability, too, as the, as the money starts to come in because it's easy – easy to go in and come out and yeah he's big he's um he's a great guy he uh he interacts with all of us he's been working with artists like Fetty Wap a lot of artists too like 
He worked with Albi Al from my from my city, Jersey City, New Jersey. He's expanding too, I believe. So he worked with a lot of people. He's a, he's a good manager. Yeah, Albi, yeah. Johnny, what about what about the money part of it too? Because we were talking about the numbers, the size the size of the audience. I mean, people must see dollar signs sometimes when they see these young Latin, young Latin artists. I mean, just look at just look at the numbers right now. Bad Bunny is produce. He's grossing more money in these his current tour right now than any Anglo artist has in the, in the last couple of years. Really? So when you're talking about his numbers are, I mean, they, he's knocking them out the park. You're talking about, and this is all public information. He's grossing higher than the, you know, higher, higher, he has higher grosses than a lot of these big, big, big acts that we've been seeing around for many years on the Anglo side. So <clears throat> you got Vomeo who's coming right behind him. We just collaborated with Justin Timberlake on his new album and he's coming on tour in 2020, early 2023. And those numbers are also going to reflect what's going on now with this Latin explosion. So it's, 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 there's a lot, a lot of moving pieces that, that, that are happening right now in the Latin scene and, and, and the Latino is demonstrating their numbers and strength, their strength in numbers right now in, in purchasing power. And also now, with being able to cross over with this Latin music into the Anglo side. So I, it, it, there's a lot going on right now that we're very proud of and happy. And, and, and this is the time to celebrate it. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Street Soldiers. You can share it and watch it again on our Fox 5 NY YouTube page. Remember, use your mind, it's your best weapon. I'm Lisa Evers. Let's push for peace, love, and justice for all.